Oh, the joy. Competitive play is here, and everyone's going through their placement matches in hopes of getting a high rank and showing everyone how good they are. Unfortunately, there's one major problem plaguing a lot of games right now, and that's levers. How's it going, everybody? Force here, and today I want to talk about the lever issue. How levers are losers, quite quite literally. Like, they actually get losses, and it counts against them. Uh, I'm going to go into some explanation as to how the system works, how it affects you, and what you should probably expect in the coming weeks when it comes to levers in your competitive matches. So let's start off with talking about how it works. Basically, the leaving system functions as follows. If someone leaves within the first 30 seconds of game time, the match is just invalidated. It doesn't count. However, if a player leaves after the first 30 seconds for whatever reason, whether or not they got disconnected, if they were kicked from Battle.net, or if they rage quit, they have exactly one minute to rejoin without a penalty. Otherwise, if they don't come back within that minute, they receive an experience penalty. They can't requeue into ranked for a certain duration, and this duration will increase over time the more often they leave. And if they leave often enough, they will be banned from competitive play for the remainder of the season. For this summer season, for example, if someone leaves often enough, they'll be banned until the fall season comes. That is basically how the system is set up. That's how it's intended to work. Now, how does this affect you? So if someone else leaves your game in the first 30 seconds, it doesn't matter. The match is invalidated, no big deal. However, if someone leaves the game and then doesn't come back within their allotted one minute later in the match, uh, you can safely leave the game without penalty. So you won't get your experience penalty and you won't get locked out from queuing up for ranked. However, you will still suffer a loss, which is a penalty in a way, but there's a reason behind this. Uh, basically, the why remaining team members get a loss for someone else leaving is, is mainly to stop people from abusing the system. When this question was raised, uh, the Overwatch principal designer Scott Mercer said, how is this fair? The unfortunate answer is that the alternative would be worse. We don't want to create an awful situation where players who think they're losing are now encouraged to do whatever it takes to get someone else on their team to leave. By removing any possible incentive for anyone to tactically leave, it also means that more matches will complete normally. So basically what he's saying is that he doesn't want people to think, oh, we're losing. Let's harass this person until they leave. That way, once they've left, we can leave safely and we won't get a loss. This is all how the system works. This is how it affects you. But you should keep in mind that going forward, it, this really shouldn't be a big issue. I expect the lever problem to fall off dramatically within the coming weeks. And this is mainly due to the incredibly harsh lever penalty. I mean, it's really severe. Experience loss, whatever. Increased queue duration time, honestly, whatever. The biggest thing Thing is that if you leave often enough, you'll get banned for the whole season. So any chronic leavers won't be an issue going forward. Yeah, you're still going to have some people leave your games occasionally here and there, but it's very unlikely you're going to get a person who is constantly getting disconnected or just constantly rage quits, because if they're doing that constantly, they're going to be barred from doing it altogether until this upcoming fall. Now, with that said, the lever problem will probably recommence in the fall, but like I said, this shouldn't be much of an issue within the coming weeks and that's really exciting uh that's really exciting for me uh kudos to blizzard give a harsh lever, lever penalty because it's it's a big deal when people leave team games like this now I, I do however want to acknowledge and take a moment to talk to those people who leave games unwillingly uh, of course we're talking about people who have poor internet connections or other issues that might interrupt their gaming time now unfortunately this is a team-based game and while i certainly empathize with these people uh, whether or not they're doing it on purpose leaving a ranked match negatively affects your entire team. It's not just you. Much like in real life, despite what we might be taught as children, we're not the center of the universe, and our experience is not more valuable than the experience that the others around us are having. You might have poor internet connection, maybe you have power issues and your computer constantly shuts off, maybe you've got real life things that interrupt your playtime and, and force you to leave a match out of your hands. Unfortunately, again, it's while I empathize, maybe ranked play isn't for you. And this isn't to be insensitive, but it's to say, look, it's a team-based game. If you're leaving all the time for whatever reason, whether or not you're doing it willingly, other people are getting negatively affected as a result. So 
the system is the way that it is for that reason. Because the good of the whole is more important than the good of the individual, I guess. It, it, that's kind of funny coming from someone who talks talks into a microphone on the internet and thinks thousands of people want to listen to him. The hypocrisy runs rampant. At least I'm self-aware, I guess. All right, guys. Uh, thank you all so much for watching today. Just wanted to talk a little bit about the lever problem in Overwatch and how it, it probably shouldn't be much of a problem in the future, but I want you guys to know how it works and, and what to expect from it going forward. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic afternoon. Until next time, I'll see you later.